You know, teachers are around children every single year. And in my opinion, because we see so much pedophilia in teaching and racism in teaching in America, I believe these teachers need to be reevaluated every single year. If they don't have the mental capacity to be in the room with children, I don't care what their desire to teach is, if they don't have the mental capacity to be in a classroom with students, they shouldn't be there. And there are certain things that they do should never, ever be protected by a union. Pedophilia and any kind of racism that they display in front of children, that should be an automatic termination. They should not be able to hide behind the skirt of a union. This came out in USA Today, October 14th, 2019. It's got to stop. Superintendent condemns teachers' racist rant in school parking lot. A teacher at a Pennsylvania middle school has been placed on administrative leave after a viral Facebook video shows her calling a black man the N-word and using other derogatory language in the school's parking lot. In the video, a teacher at Drexel Hill Middle School in Pennsylvania, I know exactly where, do you know I used to live not far from Drexel Hill <laughs> when I used to live in Pennsylvania, but I lived on, you know, I lived further down in the black neighborhood in Pennsylvania, is seen scrubbing at the rear bumper of a red pickup truck with her sleeve after a car crashed into the school parking lot. The school confirmed reports that the teacher named Renee Greeley, um, so good, they put the teacher's name out there, near the start of the video, which was posted on Thursday by Facebook user Rashid Noel Greeley, can be heard saying, you're probably on welfare too. Well, more white people are on welfare than black people. Y'all need to stop telling that lie. It's more of you in the country. So you would be more of damn near everything, including welfare. Not even a little bit. The man in the video responds, six figures a year, ma'am. You shouldn't have to tell her that. That's none of her business. Greeley responds by swearing at the man in the video. He tells her that she's only angry, angry because I'm young and I'm black. She responds, that's right because you're black. This is this is coming from this teacher's mouth. This middle school teacher, she responds, that's right, because you're black. She continues, always looking to milk the system. If he's got a six-figure job, how is he milking the system? Please explain. Please explain. If he's got a six-figure job, how is he milking the system? And you see me, a white woman, so you think I've got money. No, I don't look at all white people and think y'all got money. I've seen some piss poor white people, and many of them live around me. Some really poor raggedy, <laughs> let me tell you something. No, when I look at y'all, I do not think you all got money. And all of you don't look like you got money. You all don't look like you got money. I've seen some of you, and you got practically the same clothes on every day. I know you don't have money. Okay, you just don't. Greeley eventually says, go back to your welfare, your Section 8 house. Section 8 is the government program for providing housing assistant vouchers to low-income families. And many of those low-income families, um, especially if you go up in New York, they're Jew, what you call Jewish. Many of them are on Section 8. You ever go complain to them? I bet every dime in my wallet you didn't. And many white people are on, are on Section 8. Okay, don't, don't fall for this, you're most of this and you're most of that. Whenever they generalize things to you, they're lying to you. I, that's one thing I picked up on years ago. When they try to tell you all black people, there's all black people that they're lying. When they're generalizing anything to you like that, they are lying to you. Everything that they're telling you is a lie. I come from a pretty big black family. I have relatives here right in my state. 
Nobody's on Section 8. Nobody. Nobody. Got relatives over in Pennsylvania, not far from where this place is. Nobody's on Section 8. Nobody's on welfare. Nobody in, in my family in New Jersey is in welfare. And I come from a big black family. A big one. No welfare. No Section 8. Everybody gets up and they go to work. Been going to work for years. Okay, so that draws a laugh from the man while Greenlee is comparing her truck to his car, which she refers to as a piece of expletive. He tells her, I've got a 3,200 square foot house. You don't have to tell her nothing. Black people, don't tell them nothing. They don't have to know a thing about you. Seriously, you don't have to volunteer nothing to them. These, these people, they're not our parents. You don't have to divulge nothing to them. You're free to do it if you want, but you're not under any obligation, even in an argument, to tell them anything. You're not under any obligation to answer any of their questions. So when they come up and they're being nosy, you don't have to answer nothing. Why don't you ask some of my relatives what I do when they come up trying to be nosy and get in my conversation? They know what I do. And that person that walks up, they get no answers. Zero. Okay, so Upper Darby School District does not condone or tolerate inappropriate conduct or speech associated with hate, racism, discrimination, or intolerance of any kind, the district said in a statement. That's a that's a lie. These statements are all lies, ladies and gentlemen. They hired these people. So anything that person does on the premises of the school, the school is tolerating it. Just like all of these sexual predators that are going after children every year, the school is tolerating it. You know that shit's going on. And many of them already know advance which teachers are doing this and they stay silent about it. So no, these statements are bogus. After the racial slur, the man in the video said, this situation can change real quick. Greeley replies, oh yeah, what are you gonna do about it? The man warns Greeley to stay where she is multiple times while she tells him, bring it on. See, you know what it is. The only reason why they talk like this to black people is, see, they got a whole system behind them to protect them. But one big fallacy that she's making, she ain't really protected at this moment. She's not. She's wide open. Many of them are when they come over with their cell phones trying to be gun, you know, want to be deputies trying to deal with you with their cell phone and calling the police on a bunch of nothing. So, um, the video ends after Greeley calls the man a homophobic slur. A Facebook message to the poster of the video from USA Today was not immediately returned Sunday night. McGarry said he met with both the poster of the video and Greeley the day he saw the video. It's got to stop, McGarry said. This rhetoric and this language and the way people feel and the way they communicate has to stop. It's destroying the country. No, the country is beyond destroyed. That's, that's the thing. You're not going to recover this society. The damage is done. The damage was done centuries ago, and it's generations from uh, centuries ago still trying to carry this shit out. Despite the fact that there are a declining population, they're going to still try to carry the shit out. Okay? So now what you have, ladies and gentlemen, is not a destroying country. You got a destroyed country. That's what America is. America, like I said, on the outside, it looks like a powerful nation within 
America. America has showed the entire world where they are weak. Where are they weak? Racism. And this is why Putin and them were talking about causing fights in America and using race. Because your enemies know what your weakness is. All they got to do is come in here and spread something regarding race. And we know which group of people are going to go into the uproar first. We already know. We already know what group of people is going to believe the shit. We already know. You, you've done it for centuries. We know who it is. In his Facebook, Noel said he commented. Um, he, I'm sorry, let me start all over. In his Facebook post, Noel, he commended Upper Darby School District for taking quick action against Greeley. McGarry said he'll meet with a group of high school students on Thursday. He said he's hoping to show the district this incident won't be defined, uh, you know, a defining factor, but it is, it is, it is, it, it is, I'm sorry, it is. So I guess they're going to be talking to the kids and, oh, you know, and they know, you know, kids need to know reality. And reality is racism is something that's been around from for centuries. And also let your black children know racism did not start from us. We didn't start this whole thing. And we are not the ones to end it. It didn't come from us. It didn't come from our forefathers. It did not come from our people during Jim Crow. This came from the group of people that came in here and stole the country and continued to pass this down through the generations. That is who to blame for all of the racism in the country. It does not need to be blamed on anyone else. Ladies and gentlemen, now they're talking about their diverse community and have socioeconomic challenges uh, but children don't need to be naive about these things because they are facing it in school. That's how I feel. Children can't be naive about this because sooner or later during the school year, they're going to have to face this. And this is another reason why teachers should reflect the people that live in the community. You shouldn't have people outside like Greeley coming in and trying to be in a classroom with our children. I don't want this woman nowhere near any of our children. She need to go be in front of her children acting like that. I don't care what she does in front of them. So they're just talking about the amount of times the video was viewed on Facebook. And ladies and gentlemen, it's one of many incidents that we will see all throughout the school year. These things happen each and every year in America and will continue to happen in, in America because the people in charge have brought this to America and have babied it and let the baby grow up and become a new demon uh, across the community, racism, pedophilia, <laughs> and kids getting arrested in school. This is no kind of way to be in a school environment. And this is why I will always go back to say to each and every one of you, to consider homeschooling your children. Your children do not belong in these classrooms where they are being emotionally damaged and that's being done on purpose. They want your child traumatized and they wanna be the ones to do it. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.